Hello friends, this video on triangles part 43 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 42. Let's take one example. PQR is a triangle, right triangle at P. M is a point on QR such that PM is perpendicular to QR. We have to prove that PM square is equal to QM into M. Let's draw it first. This is a triangle PQR. M is a point on QR such that PM is perpendicular to QR. Let's draw perpendicular from PM to QR. And this is point M. So our diagram is complete, right? We have to prove that PM square is equal to QM by MR. So if you see the sides we are talking about, PM, PM, right, two times, QM and MR. So if I join these two sides, you get this triangle. If I join these two sides, I get this triangle. So I'm talking about two triangle, triangle one and triangle two. So if I can prove that PM by MQ is equal to MR by PM, my issue is solved. So if you take this angle, let's suppose A, this is 90, this angle is 90 minus A. This angle is A again because the whole thing is 90 and this angle is again 90 minus A. Correct? So now let's try to prove that these two triangles are similar. So if you see M, P, M, Q and P, M, R. So first let's draw a perpendicular angle. M is perpendicular here, right? This is M, P, M. Right, P, M, Q, M is perpendicular. Let's draw again a right triangle here, perpendicular. So in triangle P, M, R, the perpendicular angle is M only, right? If I take R here, R is equal to 90 minus A, that is equal to P. So instead of, in front of P, I'll put R here. And if you talk about P here, P is A here, and Q is A here, so this is P. These two triangles I have to prove are similar. So this is A and this angle is also. So I'll tell in triangle QPM and triangle PRM. Please understand why we took this angle only. We never took, we didn't take this one MPR. Why? Because this will not be same. This is A, this is 90 minus A here. So they won't be similar. This is A, this has to be A. So we took this only. So in this triangle, you see angle Q is equal to angle P. Okay. Both are angle A degree. Angle M is equal to angle M A degree. So they are similar. So triangle Q P M is similar to triangle P R M by A A rule, angle angle rule. Since they are similar now, I can say that I am looking for PM by MQ, right? So I'll say PM by MQ is equal to MR by PM, or I get PM square is equal to MR into MQ. Very simple answer. Just we first drew the line, we found which two triangles we have to make similar. We found the triangles, we made it similar and we got the. Let's take one more example. ABD is a triangle, right triangle at A. And AC is perpendicular to BD. We have to prove that AB square is equal to BC into BD. Also we have to prove AC square is equal to BC into DC and AD square is equal to BD into C. The first thing is, let's assume this is angle A. Right, this is 90, this is 90 minus A, correct, this is again A and this again is 90 minus A, very simple. Now the first thing we have to prove AB square is equal to BC into B. So the sides involved is AB times BC and BD, BC and that means the angle we are talking about is this one triangle, 
this triangle one, let's say this triangle two, and the bigger triangle is ABC. So we are talking about triangle one and triangle ABC in this case. Why? AB is twice AB, BC, and BD. So if you take AB and BC in this case, you get one triangle, and AB and C, BD you take a bigger triangle. Second is AC square is equal to BC into DC. So AC square, this we have to take twice. BC is BC is which one? This one and DC is this one. So I'll write like this. This is BC, DC, and this is twice. So we what we are talking about is you take these values, we get this triangle. If you take these two lines, we take these triangles. So here we are talking about triangle one and triangle two. In third case, it is AD square is equal to BD into CD. So AD square we take twice. Then we have BD and CD. BD is what? BD is this big one. This BD. Right? I draw like this. And CD is what? This one. Correct. So here, if you take this two, you get angle triangle two. If you take this and BD, you get bigger triangle. So I'm talking about here triangle two and triangle ABC. What I'm trying to prove here is which all two triangles we have to prove similar to prove this. In first case, we have to prove that triangle one, that is BC, is similar to triangle ABC. In second case, we have to prove that triangle one is similar to triangle two, and in third case, we have to prove that triangle two is similar to triangle ABC. So scenario, try to from the sides itself, try to find out which two triangles we have to make similar. Now we have this in mind, so let's try to solve the case one. Let's say that in triangle one, this triangle one is BCA and triangle ABC. Correct? Let's draw the figure. Right triangle. In triangle one, which is the right triangle? C is the right triangle. C, B, A. Sorry, this is ABD actually. The bigger triangle is ABD. ABC is small triangle, triangle 1, which is 90 degree, here also is 90 degree. Now in the bigger triangle which is 90 degree, triangle A is 90 degree. In this triangle B is what? A. In this ABD which one is A? B is A. And this is okay. This is also okay. That's what how we form the structure. See because ABD we can have in multiple form. We can, if you flip this clockwise, anti-clockwise, you will always get ABD. But you will not get the appropriate similar triangle. To get the appropriate similar triangle, first draw one triangle with the right triangle, any way you want. And the second case, draw in proper way. If this is 90, you have to pick a point A, which is 90. If this is A, you have to pick a point which is A. So if you see both the triangles are similar. So we can write that in this angle B is equal to angle B, right? Both are same by construction only actually. And angle C is equal to angle A, equal to 90 degree. Therefore, both the triangles are similar. Therefore, triangle BCA is similar to triangle AD. Sorry, BC. I'll write properly actually in this form. Triangle ABC is similar to ABC is similar to DBA. Triangle DBA. With this convention, it's easy for me actually. So once I have written this. I need to get AB square. There is this side and this side. So I'll get, I'll write AB by BC is equal to DB by BA. DB by BA. And I'll get AB square is equal to BC into BA. And that is what I'm supposed to do. Very simple. Similarly, in second case, we'll see. In second case, since we have discussed that we have to prove triangle 1 is similar to triangle 2. So we will take triangle 1, triangle 1 and triangle 2. Triangle 1 is this, C is perpendicular, 90 degree, and also C is 90 degree. So if we, this C, B, A, we can take any way you want now, B, A. B is angle A degree. In triangle A, D, C, which one is A degree? A. So we will take A here, A, C, and the remaining is D. Because we are talking about ACB triangle and ACB triangle. This is triangle 1 and triangle 2. Correct? So, with this is A, this is D. This is 90, this is 90. 
So we can say that in triangle ABC and triangle DAC, angle C is equal to angle C is equal to 90 degree. Angle B is equal to angle A is equal to A degree. Therefore, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle, sorry, properly ABC is similar to triangle DAC. ABC anti clockwise, DAC anti clockwise. Therefore, now we need AC square. So this is AC and this is AC. So I will say, I will say what? BC by AC, that is BC by AC is equal to AC by CD. Correct? I will get AC square is equal to BC into CD. That is my answer. Similarly, for third also, you can try on to this. You have to make, try to prove that uh, triangle 2 and triangle ABD are similar. Once they are similar, you will compare the side which has AD and get the answer. Let's take one more example. This is triangle ABC. ABC is an isosceles triangle, right? Triangle at C. We have to prove that AB square is equal to 2 AC square. It is very simple actually. It's, it's given that AC is equal to X, BC is also equal to X. Then both sides are equal. Very simple application of Pythagoras theorem. AB square is equal to BC square plus AC square. Correct. Now since BC is equal to AC given, so instead of BC square, I can write AC square plus AC square. So this becomes 2 AC square. Very, very simple question. Just straight away application of Pythagoras. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more.